welcome to bro Blinger. so this is nifty's chart as you can see uh, we have drawn a parallel channel and uh, from 17600 it is trading in this channel so as i can see, as you can see i have indicated arrows for its move so it first broken down and go, went to the lower end of the channel then continuously it is getting dropped from middle line of the channel okay so that was the idea and i had projected this simple chart on the uh, during the during the friday's session so when it, it was here okay i had projected that it would go for another round of correction so this is a simple simplest chart of channeling and you can see that there is a potential turn down and turn up from the middle line of the channel so you have to identify such moves and then like it's easy to uh, project the next moves with the channeling technique so this is a very basic and simple chart so uh, yeah so fall is in channel so that's uh, one of the one of the concern we can still be in a, a b and c correction but yeah since it is a channelized move so if there is a gap down then there is a strong possibility that it is going to go down more right and uh, yeah let's see the daily candle as well so when you see a daily candle here it is quite sharp on the downside it has looking like a break, broken down this uh, trend line so trend line is broken but the uh, the level or, or the trend is has not changed yet like once it breaks this then the trend will change right so that's what we should remember uh, the rsi is turning down again towards 30 and momentum indicator or you could say trend indicator on is showing a parallel trend meaning to say a sideways trend so yeah we have to be a bit cautious but still uh, the, the more strength is looking on the downside looking at the at the candles and different indicators right so yeah this is this is indicating that uh, Aron is indicating that the trend is downside to flat okay so that's what you should remember because the red line around down is uh, on, the, on the already up uh, or greater than around green line so yeah trend is down to flat you can you can remember that because of this particular move it has went flat so let's check the chart and Elliott wave based analysis so uh, in our previous video you can watch previous video in the link above uh, we had clearly mentioned that it is going to go down right based on the Elliott wave theory because it has consolidated a lot in this range and we had properly mentioned that it is a complex correction ABC kind of this correction or a comp more complex correction here then the, the W and X Y are the uh, double complex correction okay so this is a double complex correction in which internally there are two to three moves so this was our basis of the analysis that it is going to go down and yeah because uh, the consolidation in our previous video we had mentioned that this is a longer consolidation as compared to the fall so uh, it could be over and we could be in the downside uh, so you can watch that video there uh, but right now when you see here we had also projected out moves properly here and we had mentioned that it should break this level and we should go on the downside so uh, we had already projected properly that this is wave one this is wave two going up we were expecting it to go up only if it goes about this and go down once it breaks this right so as you can see here uh, it has broken and fell down and internally this is looking as a one two three fourth and fifth wave is pending and you can see here that the trend line break is placed at or trend change is placed at uh, 16891 so once it starts trading below this the trend will change on the downside so if we are saying that this is one two then three wave is come pending fourth wave will come and fifth will come so here a wave will complete another bounce back will come and then again it will fall down so this is the way we are expecting it to move so this is a w x y uh, x x and z correction so we are in a final round of correction out of which a b and c moves are pending and out of that we are in a a wave okay so you can remember that uh, remember that on monday or tomorrow it should go down that's what we are expecting so you have to remember a couple of levels if it start moving or trading above uh, these levels okay so if it start trading about these levels then you can avoid the move because we can then say that this is a abc correction so 17100 or something okay 17110 or something if it starts trading about this then we have to conclude that this is a, a abc move so this will be a this will be b and we have to say that 
B wave is completed nearly 100% re sorry C wave is completed nearly 100% retracement and if it starts trading about this we have to conclude that another round of correction will happen and then the fall will come so that's how we have to look on the, uh, on, the on tomorrow if it gaps down the trend will continue on the downside if it gap, gaps down let's say first 15 to 30 minutes you have to observe if it gaps down and does not break that first 15 minute candles low uh, candles high so let's say first 15 minutes it gap down somewhere near here and uh, like does not break this in the next 30 minutes 15 to 30 minutes then the trend will be continuing on the downside so we can then expect this level okay so this level is to be expected 17 uh, 16761 okay on downside so yeah this is how i'm looking at this so these are two possibility that i discussed long uh, you don't have to go and look for the upside here because there is a potential problem that we are in a downtrend and if you go look for the upside you will be trapped and sell selling might come on the on the upper side so it's best to avoid such case if it starts moving up and for the downside we have to depend on the gap if it creates a gap then we have to look for these levels on the downside because the third wave should be a strongest wave and it has not reached reached or you could say even 100 percent is not reached nearly it is it is near to the 100 percent of wave one okay so this is wave one this is wave two so this total length is not uh, nearly thousand uh, percent okay or or this is this this length and this length is not yet equal once it moves below 16931 then we can say that they are equal okay so usually the third wave if it is strongest it will be having gaps and it will be uh, having hundred percent of more than hundred percent of retracement so yeah so if you look at the gap down of if you uh, see a gap down opportunity then and if it sustains for 15 to 30 minutes then there is a chance that it will go down more towards these levels okay so but there is no guarantee at all but yeah you have to uh, be ready for uh, uh, for the such scenarios that uh, once it starts uh, moving below this then you should be expecting more pain ahead and for uh, once it starts above this then it can be a reversal and this can be instead of one two three another round of correction might happen on the upside so that's how uh, we are expecting nifty to move let's check the option data so on the option front you can see that there is a uh, still a bit of good support or you could say a number is still better here as compared to this so 17,000 for the uh, uh, for the next expiry weekly expiry so 17,000 is still a good support so that's why uh, I had asked uh, to trim down the short positions because uh, we could be in a uh, ABC correction as well so that's what that's what we had we are we are expecting because the last time it has tripped even if after breaking and changing the trend it has tripped us so we have to better cautious and protect ourselves from unfavorable moves okay so yeah here you would see that this is a support still support so tomorrow if the gap down happens then this will become a resistance so this number will go up right and you can see here all these strikes we are having strong call writing that suggesting us a major resistances are getting formed and selling has been coming into place so uh, what is the major support here so currently this is looking at the major support so tomorrow it should break and it should slide down the numbers are smaller here so 16800 is what we can expect if it starts trading below uh, 16,000 uh, 17,000 right so this is the one thing that we can look at look at so the next major support is forming at 16,500 due to the strong call writing and on the upside we can see here 17,200 has become this uh, uh, resistance now okay and uh, yeah still call writing is happening here so 17,300 is then a major uh, major uh, resistance so this is the biggest resistance then this is the biggest second biggest resistance so yeah in case it starts moving up and trades about this or sorry uh, this starts trading about this there's a good chance that the nifty will move to this range uh, 200 200 so yeah so this is how the option data is looking like more call writing has happened that indicates the trend is on the downside so yeah hope uh, you understand what has to be uh, what is uh, going to be a trend for the Monday 
So if you haven't doubts, ask in the comments. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.